The big number uh, is ISM services. I mean manufacturing, excuse me. 51.8, that's down from last month. And construction spending, which rarely hits, the number is forecast to be up 7 tenths. That one generally comes in lower. So personal spending plus 2 tenths. Uh, this June the 1st will be the uh, market's first focus. And ISM manufacturing at 51.8. So generally speaking, we've got resistance uh, certainly at 20 to 24, but it could be starting at 16 to 20. So we'll make this resistance on the note 1, and this will be 2. Obviously, we like to execute at 2 levels better than 1 levels. And then 1 to 5 by 1, uh, 26, 25, 29 by 2. And that's it for the uh, tenure this morning. Like I said, um, starting out, the play on Friday in the financials was um, for puts, and that's pretty typical post an auction. You can see we're dealing with lower volume or value in each of these distributions. Uh, we may have rejected prices below 54.16. That remains to be seen. We've got this support level over here at 54.04. Uh, that could be in play. Uh, it's enough in play that uh, they stopped the selling at uh, 54, 10, or 11. So uh, 24, 23, 27 will be sell one for the bond. Uh, we'll make three to seven, sell two. I think we're headed a little bit lower, so, so maybe stops below 10. So five to nine, buy one. and then 25 to 29 by 2. Gold is pretty quiet. Gold's in a pretty tight trading range uh, right now. It's not getting much movement one way or the other. We had the uh, sell in the, above the uh, 1225. Didn't quite make it on this last go. We had pretty good buying in the uh, 75 to 85 area. So um, 95 to the buck is where resistance is. This latest round of selling started at 91, so resistance is 90, 92. And 95, 97 for sell two. Um, I think we can go a little bit lower, so 80, 82, buy one. But we may, as all, almost always, we may have to pay up 85s and then 75, 77 for buy two. But uh, this market is trying to sell, and again, the only big consistent seller that we see in it is central banks, and it's not a concerted or day after day selling. They whack it uh, to let I think to let speculators know that they can't just buy gold on margin or with a great deal of leverage and prosper. That they have to at least pay you know, buy the physical to do it, which is what central banks are doing. Okay, put a couple of articles up early on Greece. Um, Greece has got a deal right now where a Greek bank can lend money to a depositor, 
and then that depositor takes that money, the proceeds from that loan, and goes to another EU country and buys assets in that country to protect themselves from a run on a Greek bank. And what that's done is, is that the European Central Bank has created a fund to prevent just that, a run on Greek banks. And the $40 billion or euros is now uh, in the mid 80 billion euros for that special fund. And the Greeks are taking advantage of it. So the Greeks uh, are trying to get as much as they can out of the European Central Bank and they're using the threat of economic and civil collapse or anarchy and uh, other ways to try to increase the pressure on the EU and we'll see how it boils down. It looks like the IMF will allow um, will advance funds to get paid back those funds with Greece at the end of the week from the best I can tell but that's all subject to change too. So when the um, deal Looks like it's about to get done. The euro rallies. My guess is when and, when and if a deal is done, it'll sell. Uh, when it looks like a deal is not about to get done, that uh, Greece might exit the European Union, the euro sells, and I think that's where we are right now. So the selling in London started at 55. You can see that right there. We're at 29, so 45, 55 is sell one. Then our 75 to 85 is sell two. On the buy side, 109 even, buy one. 875, buy two. So we should see a trading range set up here. Um, and um, with basically sellers at 109.50 and higher and buyers at 109 even and below. Okay, looking at crude oil, pretty quiet over the weekend as far as who was shooting at whom. And uh, you can see how these volume nodes and our rule number two of our 321 methodology, the volume nodes, uh, are support or resistance the first time hit. And about 25% of the time they're immediately rejected, and this is 25% of the time. So we've got volume here. Um, and you can see we got volume at 58 and we've got volume at 60.75 and we're just kind of trading in between that so we've got a B pattern I think we're probably headed lower volume is below time as you can see right there so we have this breakout from 59 we're currently at 59.77 so we'll make 59 59 and a quarter by one and then our 58.50 give or take by two. On the uh, sell side, uh, 60, 60 and a quarter, sell one. And 60, 50, 60, 75, sell two. And looks like it's going to try to trade lower today. Now, if we can't take out that this level right in here, this single print, then we can get long. I have to pay up to get long to retest the 60, 60 and a quarter area. The beauty about trading crude is, is that pick your levels out. We don't have to worry too much about fundamentals because I, it's hard to say which fundamentals other than a headline of war will will turn or drive this market. Good news can be bad news. Bad news can be good news. It's it's mixed. It's not consistent. So we don't pay a lot of attention to it. Okay, China's stock market's up big time, 4.7%. Europe's stock markets are lower. Friday's U.S. market sold a little bit, but we got a higher close in the preceding month. So when we look at the structure... Uh, we got a buyer against 2100 and we've got a seller above um, 21 definitely above 2125 but 
2120 and we're currently at 13 so uh, today's news personal income and again I have a hard time seeing it being plus three tenths but that's what the forecast is personal spending plus two tenths and this is the focus is the consumer spending because 70 percent of our economy is consumer retail driven PCE at plus two tenths PMI manufacturing and again this one it, it is there it comes out before the ISM does but and obviously uh, market or HSBC is trying to build traction in the United States at 53.8 uh, it's come in higher and it's been stronger than uh, the ISM number uh, this would be number one news focus ISM manufacturing 518 will be number two focus and then construction spending I don't think anybody pays any attention to plus seven tens and that number I, it almost never hits it always almost always comes in lower so ISM is number two and um, personal spending is number one. I, I just think we have a trading range where we're selling 2120s to 25s and we're buying 2100 to 2105. So 19 to 21, sell one. 24, 26, sell two. On the buy side, five to seven. Sound like a broken record, don't I? Then uh, 2100. Maybe stops below 2100, so 99 to 2101 buy. And um, structurally, if we fail to take out that X period high, then we'll make it a 2095, 2100 market, 2115, 2120 market. We'll lower it by five points. They're usually pretty good about getting stops above the overnight session, and China's markets are up. So we got a chance for ours to trade higher. Uh, take at least 20 minutes to get everything up and done. I'm going to get busy on that, and we'll be with you as soon as possible.